And we are getting closer, folks. The Fun Pimps have opened up the Streamer Weekend application page, allowing content creators from all over the globe to put in their request to join in a weekend of early full game access to showcase the game in anticipation of the full release shortly thereafter. So when is this happening? Oh gosh, nobody knows. Not even the Fun Pimps, I suspect. The ambition is for a June release. So logically, it makes sense for the streamer weekend to be, well, in June as well. However, there is no release date set yet and the Fun Pimps will be doing their best to ensure everything is in working order before going for that 1.0 release. Personally, I would rather they delay than risk issues. Previous years, they would release an experimental version followed by a month or two of bug fixes, but for a 1.0 release, it would make far more sense to do a much thorough internal testing so that 1.0 can come out quick and early without a lengthy experimental phase. As we know, accessing an experimental release requires additional steps to download and play, which many people might not be aware of. For an early access release, that's not much of an issue. But for a 1.0, how often have you heard a big launch announcement in other games where they're going 1.0, but the announcement was really for test version and not really the real 1.0 version. I mean, by definition, an experimental version is an early access version, not a 1.0 release. You will likely catch more information from all over the place and in previous years there was a bunch of misinformation as always regarding the release date, streamer weekend date and so on. Most of it is actually just speculation so take what you hear with a pinch of salt until the official word is out from the fun pimps themselves. Oh and wait I found some very welcome news on the official forums relating to crafting tier 6 gear. After many years of frustration, the Fumpimps have finally taken my suggestion to allow us to craft tier 6 gear using special parts found in the world. Yes, all my suggestion, I take full credit. But jokes aside, I am glad they're doing this and I also hope that they will limit the found gear, meaning both loot and the traders, to tier 5 plus these legendary parts to finally give you a reason to actually craft end game equipment. Out of all the changes I've heard for version 1.0, this is probably the single biggest one which would impact gameplay. It would shift meta gameplay from running quests, trader purchases and looting PIs for that tier 6 gear to actually making it worthwhile to specialize in a particular skill to be able to craft the best gear. We shall see. Until next time, stay safe.